Today we're talking about employee reviews. If you have employees in your company and you're wanting them to be heard, feel that they are heard, which they should be, this is the video for you. And it's not just about making people feel heard, it's about allowing them to know what they need to do to move up through the company so you can have better employees, you can have more retention, and you can overall have a better culture and a better place to work. Before we get into this though, if you've never met me, I am Jacob Godar. I own a landscaping company here in Florida and one in Illinois. I have done hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of reviews. I've hired probably hundreds of people. I don't know how many people we've hired. We, we staff 30 to 40 people between both locations now. So I know there's years back in the day where we'd hire so many people at the end of the year. If I looked at the W2s, I, I wouldn't remember some of the people. It's really been a wild time. And through this, I've kind of learned a lot of the little pieces that help us move people through the pipeline, through the, the evolution of their career in our business. And one of the best tools for that, along with like, we're not going to get into this, but talking about employees goals so you can align them with the company, that's a huge part. That's kind of just a nugget for you. That's more of a Growcom topic. And if you want to know what Growcom is, that's my coaching group. You can go to jacobgodar.com and get on the wait list for that. That's a huge part. That's a huge gold nugget. Think about that. Like it doesn't take much thought to really realize, wow, that makes sense. The other tool though that we really use are reviews. How we set up reviews in our company is in 30 days an employee gets a review and then quarterly thereafter. A review is a place to do a couple things. Where is the employee shining? What does the employee need to work on? What is it that they could get like training, more time on the job, more cross training, a class? Like what is it that would benefit from for the employee? And then finally, what are like your final comments? You know, your, hey, completion of 30 days, X, Y, and Z raise, we're gonna work on this to promote you forward. And so these reviews do two things. And if you do this right, you do both. And I've failed on this before and that's why I'm telling you how powerful the review is and I am really telling you why it's so important. So that first thing is telling them what they've done good at. This is awesome. This is so great because it's kind of like a little mini celebration. Now this is the easy part though because telling someone you did a good job is easy. Pat on the back, great job, that's awesome. The hard part is the part that even I fail at sometimes and I've recently been told that I need to be more critical so people can have more success and that's truly it because the critical part Part, the what you need to work on, what is the problem. This is the part where people get the most benefit. You don't get much benefit out of, other than feel good butterflies, out of pat someone on the back and tell them they did a good job. You get a lot of benefit out of, you are not as efficient as you need to be on the job to hit the numbers. I think this comes from your loading and or travel strategy, not your actual time on the job or something like that. Because that area where you're giving constructive criticism, this is what truly allows people to work on the things that will make them better, which will make them shine brighter in the company, which will then allow them to get more raises and move forward. So this is an extremely important part, talking about what they need, talking about what they need to do better. So those are my two biggest parts. The other parts are more, hey, a lot of times it's say cross training something this employee could use to get better. A lot of times just more time on the job, maybe a certification, something like that. Those are easy. And then the final thing, that's just notes and comments on ours of raise, 30 days, they made it, they made it through probation, whatever the case may be. But now, what I do like is going back to our sequence, the 30 days. Typically, at our company, an employee, unless they're brought in so high on the pay scale because we wanted somebody, in 30 days, you're gonna get a dollar raise. If you don't get a dollar raise in 30 days, you probably aren't doing something right. There's probably a problem. You should most likely ask why I didn't get a dollar and then try to figure that out so you can get the constructive criticism if you didn't get enough criticism to understand in the 30 day review so then you can correct that problem and move forward. And now why these are so important because a lot of people don't hardly even do reviews. They don't they don't connect with their employees on like what's wrong and what's good and all these things. That's why it's so important to then thereafter that do it quarterly and stay extremely consistent forever. This doesn't mean you have to give someone a raise every time. A review does not mean raise. A review means an opportunity to talk to employee about how they're doing. Tell them whether they're doing worse, whether they're doing better, tell them what they need to fix, congratulate them on all the awesome things. And yes, maybe there's a review. Or maybe there's a plan of action how for how they don't get demoted because they're just falling to pieces or whatever the case may be. But it's a true statement what this person needs to do and can do to get better. And it should be guidance on getting better. This is another guidance tool and a staying connected with what's going on tool. Just like the 
the goals and aligning the goals are and just like write-up sheets are because write-ups are kind of like in between the reviews. You did this wrong, I don't care, but we're gonna document it and I'm gonna tell you this because this is to adjust you to get you doing the right thing. It's kind of like a little quick reset. So this is why reviews are so important and this is why reviews are huge and it gives you that timeline. It sets that rhythm. Maybe for you, you do it twice a year, 30 days and twice a year. Pick something consistent. This gives employees a time to sit down with you. Most of the time, employees are too intimidated to say too much stuff, get too much feedback, which I hate, but I get because I was intimidated as well when I would sit down and do these things. But I knew that when I got the opportunity to sit down and talk to my employer, it was still valued. It was like they value your time. I truly do value my employees' time and I want to continuously meet with them. And, and, and really more than anything in these, I want them to ask me what can they be doing to advance so then we can whiteboard it, we can come up with a plan on how they can excel. So from this video, if you got any value, make sure you subscribe and like this and share this with someone else just to pitch the quick idea of why reviews are so important. If you're constantly like having people leaving and you don't know what's going on or you're having problems keeping up on should they be getting raises or not, this is an easy thing you can implement in your company to help you stay on top of stuff more, better and then also stay more connected with your employees.